Alright guys, hey what's up, Red Raven here, gonna show you how I managed to uh, pretty much emulate the effect Dimension Expander found in Native Instruments Synth Massive. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the uh, replicate or try to the emu emulation of it came out. It's pretty damn close. I'm gonna give you a demonstration with the sound I just made in blue a few minutes ago. Um, here's it without the Dimension Expander copy. And then here's it with it. So essentially all it is is a reverb, a very, very short one um, with some filtering. Now in blues, stock reverb effect, what I've done is I've set the pre-delay pre down to 0.6 milliseconds, the size at 6.25 meters, the dampening at 29%, low pass is all the way up so that it's not cutting off any of the highs, high pass filters up to 202 hertz so that it's filtering out anything below 202 hertz, and the length is at 4%, um, the effects mix is at about 50%, somewhere right in the middle there and you can hear you can affect it like you can turn it up you can turn it down and you can get different tone qualities by messing with the filters and the length So now it's time to show you how to do that with a stock FL um, reverb unit. Um, so I've turned off the reverb in blue. Um, I'm going to be using the same sound, just not the stock uh, reverb unit. So we're going to go ahead and add a fruity reverb. We don't need reverb 2. Um, with me, it just seems like the... Uh, the graphics are just, they just, I don't know, they, they just distract me too much. So I use the reverb. It's the exact same reverb unit, just an updated interface basically uh, comes with reverb too. So what we're going to do is we have pretty much all the same knobs we have in blue plus a couple. Um, I'm going to do the low cut off and the high carrot cut, bleh, sorry, turn it up. Um, we're going to do a room size of about 53, color, warmer, and a pre-delay of about 2 to 4 milliseconds, somewhere in there. We're not going to dampen it very much, and the delay is only going to be about 0.6 seconds. And then the uh, reverb knob becomes your dry-wet knob, essentially. So let's take a listen to it with uh, the reverb percent at about 50. The delay might be a little long, so we're point four. And here's it without that. With And that's it for this tutorial. Um, so you can experiment around with this, um, have fun, and uh, feel free to post videos and, and song clips of what you've managed to do with this technique or other techniques that you've invented so we can, we can build this database of knowledge up and everybody can make better music and we'll all be happy. So that's it. Red Raven peacing out. I uh, hope you learned something. Peace.